So I'm crying because nobody uses Google anymore, nobody uses Bing anymore, and everyone's using Grok, Perplexity, and ChatGPT. So how will we survive? Is SEO really dead? Well, no, and I'm not crying, I just yawned. So again, people think SEO is gonna go away, the classic SEO, so people are not gonna be searching on Google or Bing. I don't think that's true. I don't think that that will ever happen, and I'll tell you why. But even if it does, even if people stop using the classic search engines that we had for like years on end, right? SEO, which stands for search engine optimization, still isn't going to go away, right? We, our business ranks first on ChatGPT, ranks first on perplexity, not just on the text thing, but on here. This is a citation from our YouTube channel. Our site is, our site, excuse me, is also cited here. We have this big thumbnail from our YouTube video right here. Our site is cited here again. We're cited here again. Um, for multiple different prompts, right, on these, all these models, uh, and as well as here on, on Grok and any other model we use, we're cited here. And so even if people stop searching on these ones, right, we will still show up here. So SEO, optimizing for search engines, so search engine optimization, because these are search engines, right, just the way in which they provide users the results are different, so Google is just uh, like the classic AI SEO writer, right? Google is the classic, okay, ads and then a bunch of like uh, listings you can click on, okay? Oh, here's me. Then I get the whole uh, home page right here. But again, this is the classic thing Google has been doing for a long time. And they do this, right? They're, the Google product, right, does this, delivers information to users this way because users like it, right? Now, there's been a shift in, the, in these few months, I guess, where users now prefer something like this, where they can chat back and forth, right? Um, for example, I can say, I can take this and I can say, okay, is this good for a business that sells X, Y, Z? Does journalist AI do this? Uh, what's the price? So it allows the user to go back and forth in any of these uh, chat. And all these, by the way, these are all LLM based, right? These are LLM based AI search engines, okay? Again, the, 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 the shift has been going on because people now prefer, or s for some search terms, people prefer to do this stuff. Now, again, going back to what I said in the beginning, I don't think Google SEO is gonna, ever gonna go away, or Google or Bing, because there are some searches that, at least for me, that I actively use the internet, I guess, and maybe you as well. There are some types of searches that you're better off going to Google and Bing other than these AI search engines. Just like there are some searches where you're better off going to YouTube, Right, where for example, if you're like, if you want a tutorial on how to tie a tie, right, you most likely you you won't go on Google, and even if you do, like how to tie a tie, right, Google will give you videos first, right. And by the way, quick quick uh, little tip, this right here, and the way these are sorted, because for different searches, these are sorted in different ways. So news can be up top, images can be down low, videos can be down low, right. Based on your search, the way in these uh, the way these uh, menus appear right here tells you what Google values the most for a certain search, right? So because images and videos are here towards the left, right? The, the uh, Google values more these. So it's easier to rank videos for this search than it is to rank a blog post or a news, right? It's easier to rank images, which makes sense, right? It's how to type, type people wanna see videos. So going back to what I was saying, right? Again, different types of searches and different search intents will require people to search on different search engines, okay? So it's something you wanna search out of Thai, you go out on YouTube, right? If you don't search for like a local restaurant, right? maybe you go on Instagram because Instagram has like a, a bunch, of, if you've ever searched for a restaurant on Instagram, right? You have this little map, right? With a bunch of restaurants, right? And then you have, if you click one of the restaurants, you have a bunch of like images and reels from real people that went there and tried the restaurant. So it's a, a great experience, a better experience than for example, doing, um, uh, restaurant in it in Rome, right? So it, it, it is a different experience, right? This still has photos and things. Again, different search intents will, will require people to do different things, to, excuse me, do uh, use different search engines. So even if for some reason people stop using Google for everything or, or Bing, right? Which I don't think is gonna happen again because I think people will still use Google for certain searches, right? But even if it does go away, right? People will still be using search engines, right? As long as we humans, have the need to search for stuff, which unless we have like a chip in our brain that has all the information at all times for us, which maybe will come in the future, right? Two years from now, who knows, right? But still, that's out of the way just yet. So as long as we humans search for stuff, there'll always be search engines. And if there are search engines, there'll always be ways to optimize for those search engines. Now, if you wanna learn how to rank first on how and how we do this, how we rank first on here, go watch 
this video and this video, it breaks down exactly how we're doing it so you can apply it to your business. I go over what our business is, what we sell, and how I'm, what I'm doing to basically position my business here, okay? Just a quick, a quick tip, right? Most of the things you do for the classic SEO game, which you can go watch this course right here, which breaks down how to do classic SEO, I guess. Most of the things on that course and most of the things you do to rank on the classic search engines are the things that will also uh, prompt you to rank on these search engines right here. This is not really rank, it's more of recommend or being cited, but yeah, that's that, do go watch those videos. Now, fi one final thing is that um, these search engines, these AI-based search engines, LLM-based search engines, uh, they're biased. Not biased in terms of the information, but buys in terms of where they get the information and how much weight they put in certain information. For example, Grok, right? Twitter owns Grok, right? So you'll notice that most of the citations, most of the, the sources come from Twitter posts and of course web pages. So if you wanna rank on Grok, well, you gotta go heavy on, you gotta do the whole SEO strategy that, that I broke down in these two videos, so go do that, but go be heavier on uh, writing Twitter posts, Twitter threads, because we know that, again, Twitter owns Grok. Grok will put a bit more weight into the information that's posted on Twitter. Again, not that they're biased, they're not biased in terms of information, they're biased in terms of the, of the weight they put in information from certain sources. In this case, they put a bit more weight in the, in the, in the source they own, which is Twitter. For example, uh, ChatGPT, right? Bing owns, excuse me, Microsoft owns Bing. Right? And of course, Microsoft also owns OpenAI. And so there's a high correlation between your rankings on Bing right? and the um, number of recommendations or citations your brand has on GPT. Makes sense, right? Again, it's the same company. And perplexity, you'll notice that uh, the, for a bunch of, of prompts, they'll give you um, a, they give a lot of weight to YouTube, which is interesting, and Reddit as well. So again, multiple of these different new AI LLM search engines uh, put different weights on different sites for where they grab their information. So just know that. Again, short one, but go watch the video that I recommend. I'll leave them all in the description because this is a new age of search. Again, I don't think Google's going to go away. I don't think Bing's going to go away. Just like there's multiple search engines. TikTok is a search engine. Amazon is a search engine for products, right? Google's a search engine. ChatGPT is a search engine. There's As long as there's an application that gives you with a search or a prompt, this is basically a search, a keyword, right? Gives you a list of things, that's a search engine. YouTube is a search engine. Etsy is a search engine, okay? So as long as they exist, there'll always be ways to optimize it. And you can use the best software in the game to do so, which is, of course, my software. I'm 100% biased, but I do think this is the best one called Journalist AI. And if you're still here, might as well show you a demo of what this does, right? This doesn't just write content for you. It does a bunch of things for you on autopilot, which are pretty cool. So first things first, give me like 10 seconds, I'll show you the output of this. So you can use this to write content for your site. And by the way, the content you write, write, write right here will allow and post on, on your site is the reason why we rank here, for example, for the keyword or for the prompt, what's the best AI autoblogging tool for SEO, right? The best tool for this feature, which is what we do as well, right? Where do you think it take, took the info from, right? Perplexity isn't like making up info out of thin air, right? They're going through the web and finding resources for this info. Oh, well, lo and behold, they found our blog post we wrote about the best tools for auto blogging, right? This is on our site, the blog post, right? Which we wrote with AI, right? And they went through it, right? And that's why they're recommending it here because we have information that satisfies the search query, the search prompt, the search keyword, whatever you want to name it, right? That's why we're here. And so producing blog posts and making your site relevant and making it become a topical authority in your niche is key to showing up here. But again, you go watch this and this video that breaks down our whole strategy step by step. I won't go too deep into this right now. But again, going back to journalist AI, right? It allows you to do content like this. So this is all done with AI. The feature damage, the table of content, the proper content extraction with internal links, external links, even in article videos that are relevant to what the content is about. So these are all placed right here, right? This is all done with AI. It just saves you a ton of time, okay? And let's say, for example, if you don't like the AI's, the AI's output, excuse me, you can always click here, click edit with AI, and you can edit all this with AI too, right? Let's say, for example, you think that this uh, little section right here uh, is missing some links. So you can just select this and say add links, add external links, and now the AI will read through the whole article, right? Take this paragraph into account and find the best places to add external links to. So links linking out to external authoritative sources, right? Mm, there you go, I can select the ones I want, and bam, there you go. Just added a couple of external links. Now, of course, you can do all this manually, but why would you? And you can, choose it, you can just use AI, excuse me, to do it all for you, right? Let's say, for example, you don't like this image. You wanna add a different thing right here. Just say, um, add a dog. And the AI will add a dog, not just adding a dog, but it will add a dog, taking into account the context of the article and the context of the existing image, which in this case is the garden. So there you go, dog in the garden, boom. 
Right, let's say, for example, uh, you don't like, uh, you think this is a bit too short. You go here and say, okay, make this, make this longer. And the AI will make this a bit longer. You can make it shorter, you can rewrite it, right? You can take this information and put it, for example, in a table format, a list format. You can say, for example, you can add custom prompts like, uh, write this more tailored to beginners, right? You, you can do whatever you want, right? It's infinite things. And if you don't want to use this, you can just delete all this, import your own articles here and edit them like this, right? So there you go. Again, writing, editing, and one of the coolest features here is our um, AI agent, which basically you just you just put in your site, right? And it analyzes every single page on your site. So I put it in my domain right here, it analyzed 20 pages, just because I kept it at 20 pages, and it did analysis on all these steps right here. Soon it'll do schema markup, site speed, links, and a bunch more stuff. But going over, for example, page styles, which is, right, when you take a site, this right, this right here that shows up on Google is your meta title, and this is your meta description. This is of course important for SEO, and of course for SEO on the LM search engines and on, and on, and on the classic search engines as well. But it takes in the, your current, so for example, for our page, for our academy, or for, example, for our, our Wix page, which is just basically a page where we go over. Uh, let me just show you just a simple page where we just go over our integration with Wix. So pretty simple feature page, right? Nothing, nothing too fancy, right? And our current page title is Wix AI SEO Writer, Prep for Free Journalist, right? And the AI gives us suggestions, right? It tells us, hey, listen, I think you should change it to this. Wix AI SEO Writer, create SEO optimized content. And that gives me the why. So we didn't, didn't just want to tell you, hey, listen, this is what you have right now. This is what we think you should change it to. No, we wanted to tell you, hey, change it to this. And here's the why, right? Here's why we think you should change it. So the AI is analyzing it and saying, hey, listen, this is you. You wanted to change to this. And here's why. You can apply in this card. And based on what you apply in this card, the AI will learn, right, based on your, on your human inputs to give you better suggestions for future um, improvements. Again, this is for, and by the way, if you click hit, hit apply, the AI will automatically change this on your, on your site. You don't need to log in into your WordPress or to your Wix or to Shopify, whatever, whatever you use, right? It does it automatically on autopilot for you. You can click all these ones and hit apply if you'd like or discard. Meta keywords, meta description, can occur those. Even internal links is pretty powerful. Let's say, for example, you have a bunch of pages on your site, right? You have like a, a blog post page, you have like your home page, you have like your services page, a contacts page, and then a bunch more like blog post pages. What this does is it allows you to automatically, so the AI agent will crawl through the site and tell you, hey, listen, I think you should link this page to this one, I think you should link this page to this one, and this one to this one, and this one to this one. So internal links, it will automatically build internal links for you. And then of course, giving you the why. For example, for this page, right, it's, it, it says, we think you should link this page using this anchor text to this page, and here's why. Okay, hit apply, all done for you automatically. So this is pretty cool, just saves you a ton of time. And um, if you've heard me talk about SEO before, you know SEO has three pillars. We have the on-page SEO, right? excuse me, we have off-page SEO and we have technical SEO. On-page SEO is just content, right? What you write on the site, how you write it, the keyword research you did to find high buying intent keywords to produce content that way. There's there's a bunch of new ones here. And again, go we'll watch the courses down below because I teach you all this in detail. Off-page SEO, SEO excuse me, is essentially backlinks, so link building, building links, super powerful as well. I'll leave some resources down below as well on how to build links. And technical SEO is like the boring stuff, like site speed, schema markup, meta titles, meta descriptions, all, all this stuff right here, right? Internal linking structures, which this AI agent helps you optimize, okay? For free, for, not for free, but um, on autopilot. There's also social media syndication, which plays a big part in of course, ranking on these AI agents. For example, for Grok, right, they value uh, Twitter posts a lot. And so what this, this thing allows you to do is that you can connect journalist AI with your website right here. And again, you, you can do, it does the keyword research for you. Then it writes, generates articles and content based off of this keyword research. Then it can automatically publish the content to your site via an auto blog. So you can have its post content Monday through Friday, every single day, every single week, right? Then it also indexes the content on Google automatically for you. So it's posting all these posts to your site, right? On autopilot. And of course, if we expand on any of these, right? These posts ooh, right here, as you saw before, right? They all have a featured image, a table of contents, proper content extraction within in article images, in article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, internal links. So these posts will be interlinked between each other, of course, in a way that makes sense. External links. So, for example, if this is a post about uh, finance, right? It will link out to Investopedia, it will link out to Bloomberg, TechCrunch. It will, it will add external links in the article automatically that makes sense, right? And as I, was saying, as I was saying before, it also syndicates social media. All these posts will be automatically syndicated to your LinkedIn, to your Twitter, to your Facebook page, all on autopilot with dedicated social posts, which again, have an impact on how these AI engines perceive your brand. Because again, they all, they gather info, not just from your site, right? They gather info from social media, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, right? 
they scour through the internet, right? So if you can basically automate all the posts you post on your site to your socials, engines like Grok will like that very, very much so. And a bit of a secret, that's what we're doing right now with a bunch of our content, blog content. We are syndicating it to our Twitter page so we can be picked up, so we can try and rank on Grok as well as we do rank on uh, on perplexity and uh, and GPT. So a bit of a secret tip there. So yeah, give it a go if you want to give it a go. Um, it's here, just go to trijournalist.com. Uh, or if you want my help in um, and get all my courses, you can go to trijournalist.com forward slash academy and you get 12 months access to Journalist AI, to this exact software that I, just, that I just went over, which does a bunch more stuff by the way, I just, I just scratched the surface. So you get 12 months access, so we full years access to this, which I mean, you will make your money back most likely with 12 months access to this, right? You get 12 months access to this, plus I'm just scroll past all these testimonials and results. You get access to all of uh, my courses, my seven SEO courses, all these ones right here. I won't read through them right now, but they're super valuable. One of them is this one right here, which teaches you how I build backlinks. So the exact backlinks I build and I charge $300 for, I teach you how to build step-by-step -step on here. My Rank Rent SEO course, my YouTube videos SEO course that teaches you how to rank YouTube videos on Google and YouTube, which allows us to also have our, um, our videos show up here, which I, I've, got, I've closed this tab now, but you saw a video of, me, of mine showing up here. Um, also, you get access to a bunch of these courses, a plugin, e-commerce SEO course, and a bunch of like detailed case studies and all these brands are doing SEO. Bunch of stuff right here. You get also access to a one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me, so you can chat with me and uh, I'll go over your business and what I think you should be doing or not be doing, so you get access to a one-on-one -on -one call with me. And of course, I 100% money back guarantee uh, in case you don't like a single thing. You can read through it all. I'll leave the link down below in the description. I know I'm speaking too fast, but there you go. Uh, yeah, that's it. Give it a go. Try Trijoins.com. It's pretty cool. Again, my tool. I'm 100% biased, but I think it's the best one that allows us, we actively use, it's a bit of an inception, to promote journalist AI and to get more people to use our tool, we are using our own tool to rank on Google, Bing, and of course all these AI search engines. So yeah, that's it. Check all the links and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, cheers, like, subscribe, comment what you wanna see next and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.